Hello, in this brief presentation we're going to introduce you to some common terms encountered when dealing with analog and digital filters. We'll talk about uh, filter gain and phase. We'll talk about the filter transfer function uh, and filter equation. We'll introduce uh, the frequency response and discuss the elements of the frequency response, namely the uh, amplitude and phase response. I'd like to introduce a couple basic terms. Frequency is a repetition rate of a periodic uh, signal or sinusoidal signal and it's uh, represented in cycles per second or in units of Hertz. Uh, period is the the time for a sine wave or periodic signal uh, periodic waveform to repeat itself and the relationship between frequency and period is uh, uh, an inverse one where frequency equals one over the period. Gain is expressed normally in decibels or dB in order to sensibly plot the very wide range of gain on a filter on a compressed uh, logarithmic scale. Gain in decibels equals 20 times log to the base 10 of the magnitude of the sinusoid at the filter output given uh, a magnitude applied uh, at the filter input. So 20 times the log of the base 10 of V out over V in. So just to to do some uh, review here, uh, if we have a gain of um, 1 over 10,000 or an attenuation of 10,000, that, that gain in um, decibels is minus 80 dB. Um, a gain of 1 is 0 dB, a gain of 10 is 20 dB, and you can see as we increase gain by a factor of 10, we increase decibels by, by 20, or we add 20 to the decibel. Um, a special gain is uh, the minus 3.01 dB uh, gain. That's usually designated as the cutoff frequency of the filter, uh, where the, the filter is about 30% down. And that comes from um, power uh, in that the uh, 3 dB frequency is the, the, the frequency where you have uh, half, half of the power in the signal. Phase is the angular difference between uh, two sinusoids that are, are at the same frequency and measured between uh, a, a reference point. It's usually expressed in degrees or radians. Phase delay, on the other hand, is the time difference between uh, two sinusoids at the same frequency and measured at the same reference point on their waveforms. So phase is in degrees, phase delay is in seconds. So here's an example of, of two 1 hertz uh, sinusoids that are phase shifted with respect to one another. So, and they're, and they're in fact phase shifted by 45 degrees of phase. And we can easily convert between phase and, and phase delay um, by, by, by recognizing that there's 360 degrees of phase shift in one period of, of a sinusoid. In this case, our period for, for one hertz sinusoid is one second. So 45 degrees is easily equated to 0.125 seconds, 45 degrees divided by 360 times one second, the period of a one hertz sinusoid is an eighth of a second. That's called the phase delay. An equation that we call the filter equation or I'll often just refer to it as the transfer function, is a ratio of two polynomials, a numerator polynomial and a denominator polynomial. The variable of s 
is an independent variable uh, that's related to frequency. The denominator polynomial can be expanded into coefficients uh, that, that uh, are multiplying powers of s. Um, the poles are the roots of, uh, of the denominator polynomial. If we set it equal to zero and solve for values of s that, um, that make that thing zero, those are the, the uh, poles of the, the filter. And we'll call uh, an eighth order filter or a fourth order filter. The, the fourth or the eighth is the indication of how many poles there are in the filter. As we increase the number of poles in a filter, the complexity of the filter increases and the cost to implement that filter, the amount of hardware we need, uh, increases. A fourth order Butterworth filter takes twice as much hardware as, or half as much hardware as an eighth order Butterworth filter. Uh, likewise, uh, the numerator polynomial um, in our transfer function or filter equation has similar form uh, to the denominator and the roots of this polynomial are called the zeros of the filter. The frequency response of the filter is um, the plot of the filter in both the amplitude um, and phase domains of the, the filter. We can pl plot the amplitude versus frequency of the filter, and we call that the amplitude response. We can plot the phase versus frequency of the filter, and we'll call that the filter's phase response. And here's a simple example of a really basic um, single pole filter formed by a resistor and a capacitor. This has 6 dB per octave roll-off, and in the green, uh, that is the amplitude response. The filter starts out at 0 dB, or gain of 1 at low frequency. It's um, 3 dB down, in this case, um, at 1 hertz. That's the cutoff frequency of the filter, and then rolls off um, with a constant slope in dB per, per decade, or dB per octave. The phase response, on the other hand, is showing a uh, phase shift um, in degrees, input to output versus frequency. And you can see um, at low frequency, we have very little phase shift. At uh, cutoff frequency, we've got about 45 degrees of phase shift. And ultimately, at uh, high frequency, this um, filter has 90 degrees of phase shift, which is uh, what you get through a uh, a capacitive element. So in this brief presentation we talked about filter frequency response. We introduced the concepts of gain and phase, uh, the filter equation which is a ratio of two polynomials, and then we talked about the amplitude and phase response of the filter. Hope you find this information to be useful and thank you for listening.